hello everyone today we are going to learn how we can transfer data from one view controller to the another view controller uh, open an export project click on single view application click on next give the name whatever you want to give i'm just giving transfer data be sure that language should be swift click on next save the project now click on main.storyboard it's a view controller just give the color to this view controller <coughs> whatever you want to give I'm just giving blue because I like blue now <coughs> this is element inspector type text field just drag and drop text field on this view controller just resize this text field according to your need give constraint to this text field I'm just giving 16 16 and 90 and I'm just fixing its height to 40 <coughs> add constraints now we have to add one button so we can take the data from one view controller to the next on click of that button Just change the background color of this button this is a background property through which we can change the background color of button you can do whatever you want to do it's just a simple demo app so I'm not looking towards design so you can do whatever you want to do I'm just giving submit I'm just giving constraint to this button as well look it's there is a red lines all over this button means the constraints are not uh, sufficient as well as it's also showing red mark over here means the constraints are not satisfying so we have to add one more constraint that is horizontally sent in the container as we assign this, con this uh, constraint to this button the red lines are gone as well as the warning sign is also gone from this this way this uh, window just one more thing enter a placeholder enter text we are good to go but one more thing we have to embed uh, navigation controller in this view controller go to editor embed in navigation controller uh, because we have to transfer we have to move from one controller to the another view controller we have to implement navigation controller in our application it's simple <coughs> so now this is screen is completed now take another view controller just give the color whatever you want to give I'm just giving green and first thing which we do is just click on this just press control and drag and drop over this view controller and click on show this perform a segue and this lets to come back button over here now we can take a label and place where we want to place this label so just placing over here just give some constraint just like this ok fine now we are going to go do uh, some coding over this just click on this just click on this uh, I, uh, assistant editor now let's make some IB outlet for the button as well as this just click on text field click on control press control and drag on view controller like text 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 data let's create a action for this simply press control and drag and drop on 
this class on click submit and please make sure that we have to select action over here and click on connect <coughs> now on click of this submit button we have to transfer our data which is in the upper text field to the next view controller so for that we have to first take the data of the above text field so let data equals to text data dot text by doing that we have the whatever data in the above text field in our data variable and now let's move this data to the another view controller let vc equals to self dot storyboard dot initiate view controller with identification this is the method which we are looking for in this initiate view controller with identification we have to pass the name of the view controller on which we are going so we have to give the name of this view controller but right now we didn't have any name or we didn't assign any class for this view controller first let make the class for this view controller now click on this click on new file select cocoa touch class and click on next now give the name whatever you want to give second view controller make sure the subclass should be ui view controller type now just create so this is a second view controller type of a class now assign that class to this view controller second view controller as well as just give the class name as an identifier to this view controller <coughs> now again move to the first view controller programming okay just give the name to this view control over here <coughs> and make it as second view controller type just make it as second view controller type now for transferring data from this controller to the this second view controller we have to us we have to make a property in the second view controller first so let's make a property let data is of string type string type let's data should be of string type fine okay okay fine we have an error that we didn't initialize this data so let's initialize this data by string empty string array so the error should be gone yeah the error should be gone now just come back to this first view controller class and just now we can access that property over here vc dot data it's not appearing okay it's not appearing because we didn't save that class first we have to save that class after that we can access that property just window command and save after doing that we can save a class command save now move to the view controller and then now we able to access the vc dot data look we are going to access the property is equals to equals to data <coughs> now we are assigning our data to the data property to this data let's change the name should be data1 so we are not going to confuse data1 but it's showing error it cannot assign property data is a let constant because we make this this data we make this data is kind is kind of a let constant so we have to change that thing we have to change this to where 
you have to change this to where now we can uh, access this property now the error should be gone yeah error, should, error is gone now you have to just unread this one okay <coughs> now we have to push this controller navigation controller dot push view controller in this view controller we have to pass vc and in true I just run the application we didn't see anything till yet because we didn't work on second view controller yet we are moving with to the next view controller but we didn't get anything on this so for that we have to first create outlet of label on this second view controller just create an outlet of this label of the second view controller and now in view did load just simply say label name dot text is equals to data so whatever data is coming from the previous view controller is come and print over here now let's run the application look the data which we typed over there is come here hello there this is, this is second second video hello there this is second video so you can manipulate data according to your requirement you can pass data whatever you want to pass in this same format in the next tutorial we are going to learn how we can revert back the data means if i am going to change the data over here and press this submit button then how the data can be changed in background in back view controller means first view controller so that's all for today thank you if you like my video please uh, like share and comment and subscribe the channel thank you so much bye